Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about Escherichia coli and especially the introduction about the Escherichia coli. Now Escherichia coli is the most common or commonly known microorganism for scientists because we have been studying Escherichia coli since the dawn of microbiology and it is been going on and Escherichia coli is a one one on one of a kind of microorganism uh, whom we know most of the properties, right? Now, usually Escherichia coli, if I want to talk about Escherichia coli, uh, it may take a longer time, but in the short span of the video, I will be talking about some special features about the Escherichia coli and among the Escherichia species also, because Escherichia species is a kind of uh, microorganisms that are living in our gut and these microorganisms are uh, simply short rods. So, let me write about their properties. They are short rods. So, begin with single properties. They are short rods okay and and also they are facultative anaerobes they are facultative facultative anaerobe so let me facultative anaerobe because they live in our gut they won't require oxygen for their growth in this case much okay uh, and the most important property above all, they can ferment lactose. So they can ferment lactose. And this particular feature makes them totally distinct from rest of the enterobacter species which are living inside our gut. Because the gut living bacteria, among the gut living bacteria, we are having Escherichia coli, we are having Salmonella, and we are having different enterobacter species. But among all of them, Nobody can ferment lactose except Escherichia species. Okay, among the Escherichia species, Escherichia coli especially, they can ferment lactose. Okay, and usually all of them can ferment glucose, but this one can ferment lactose. Okay, because they are having uh, the lactose fermenting uh, ability containing gene. It is called the LAC operon concept. So LAC plus uh, will be termed for the Escherichia coli. Okay, and usually they are catalase uh, positive, catalase test positive what is catalysted if you want to find you can go in my youtube channel you will find it in the previous videos of this bacteriology session so catalase positive but they are they are oxidase negative oxidase negative okay and it's definitely they are gram negative i should have mentioned it earlier escherichia coli is a gram negative they are gram negative type of organism they are also motile with their flagella and they are having the capsule layer which is a slimy layer coating this whole uh, bacteria so capsule capsule layer is also there okay and we can culture them we can culture them in McConkie agar it's a special kind of uh, medium McConkie agar you can culture them on McConkie agar pretty easily. Okay, so these are the basic quick properties about Escherichia coli. But the most important thing is that Escherichia coli live in our gut, and this is very in normal times when it, they live in our gut, they act as a beneficial microorganisms in most aspects, and they are also known as a friend of microbiologists because we use Escherichia coli in laboratory for studying different bacteriological effects or cellular events of bacteria using Escherichia coli as a model organism okay and in our intestine they can act as a, what you can say positive mediators or they are leading to the positive effects but sometimes they can cause diseases uh, some some strains of Escherichia coli are pathogenic but rest of the strains are non pathogenic in nature but those Escherichia coli that are present in our gut sometimes they are not uh, pathogenic but when they are encountering and they are entering into our bloodstream they become pathogenic so they usually become pathogenic so let me know they usually become pathogenic become pathogenic they usually become pathogenic when entering bloodstream okay so that is an important point when they enter bloodstream only they become the pathogenic in most of the cases otherwise they are non pathogenic in nature so this escherichia coli can be divided depending upon their different uh, antigen that are present in their outer membrane and as they are gram negative bacteria i should have to told this earlier that as they are gram negative bacteria they are having outer cell membrane outer cell membrane right 
Now this outer cell membrane contains lipopolysaccharide, right? Or LPS. So what they are having the LPS layer or lipopolysaccharide. So let me write lipopolysaccharide. Lipopolysaccharide layer. Now this lipopolysaccharide layer is antigenic because this can serve as this can serve as an endotoxin this can serve as an endotoxin right and this lipopolysaccharide uh, is made up with several different component uh, one of the component is o antigen right now now depending upon these different kinds of antigen that are present in lipopolysaccharide layer we can divide Escherichia coli into different segments and not only the antigen that is present in lipopolysaccharide but also there are antigens that can be present in the flagella antigens that can be present in the capsule right so depending upon those antigens we can divide Escherichia coli for example uh, in, in antigens present in LPS layer we can distinguish them they are called O antigen O antigen now the antigen that are present in let's say let's say capsule in a capsule layer those are called k antigen and obviously the antigens that are present in let's say uh, present in uh, lps is done capsule is done uh, let's say the antigen present in flagella flagella in those case we call those antigens that are present in flagella as antigen antigen H or H antigen so depending upon the presence of this antigen we can divide it into O antigen K antigen and H antigen so depending upon this kind of antigens we can uh, vary the different name of Escherichia coli right so the nomenclature of Escherichia coli come from this kind of antigens now you can you may probably uh, heard this name that this strain O157 H7 right you probably heard this name because this is a potent pathogen for human being. Now this type of Escherichia coli strain is acting as or they are called as enterohemorrhagic E. coli E-H-E-C or enterohemorrhagic E. coli. So they are very very dangerous. They can produce toxins and the toxin is made up with this kind of antigens. Now for this particular strain as we can see there are two different types of antigen. One is the O antigen. This is present uh, in the lipopolysaccharide layer of this particular bacteria and another one is the H antigen which is H number 7. So this antigen is present in the flagella. So depending upon the presence of this antigen we term this O157 H7. So this is a potential pathogen for human being. We'll be studying it later. Okay. So depending upon this antigens, we are having different names like that. Okay. So in a sense, that's the introductory part about the Escherichia coli. And I hope uh, that's helpful. Thank you.